Hey guys, it's Ellen here and it's Mini Monday. We're painting some fun little spooky trees here. I don't know why my sh lighting is so crazy. Uh, very simple, easy. I go over the step by step. It's kind of a fun, spooky look. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit the bell notification button, please hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. Also check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays and live stream once a month on the top tier. You can check it out coming up right about here. Boop. It's a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. So without further ado, let's get painting some spooky trees. Okay guys, so for this uh, tutorial, we're gonna go over supplies. I have two three inch squares, 100% cotton cold pressed paper from Arsh. I taped them down with some just some simple Scotch magic tape on a thick piece of cardboard. Paper towels, my paints, my water gels are up here. You can't really see them. I'll be using my Princeton 8 and 4 long round. There's no need for a traceable for this. Um, it's just kind of painting like a loose abstract kind of mysterious looking uh, landscape. So basically if you want to, you could just do like, you know, just map out where you're going to have the land. I kind of like did like three-fourths way down, kind of like up the hill, down the hill, kind of like that. All right, to start with, we're gonna mix up some grays and some oranges. So I just have this color here, neutral tint. I'm just gonna push that color out here. I also use um, black gouache, which is here. I like to water that down for my grays. The black gouache is more of a brown gray. I don't know if you can see, notice that. And the neutral tint has more of a purplish blue gray. And then we got some oranges. I actually have brilliant orange here. But you can make orange with any red and yellow. And that's really bright. So I might go and add some burnt umber in here just to tone it down a little bit. Now, if I used magenta and uh, cadmium yellow deep, here's the cadmium yellow deep. I'll take some magenta and make a different, you know, more neutral kind of looking orange. You see that? Like a nice light pale orange. Just like that. Okay, so we're gonna start off just wetting the paper with some light gray. I'm gonna take that neutral tint, I'm gonna water it down even more. And I'm just gonna put that gray, kind of like I said, three-fourths of the way down, kind of over the whole, I'm gonna add a little blue to that. I don't like the way it's coming out. So I'm gonna grab some ultramarine and put some blue in that color. That's more of a blue gray. I didn't like the background to be light. So it's just a light, gray. You see this? Just really pale. It should dry dark, uh, lighter even. I'm going to add some more blue in here. Go across here. So you can see this one's a little more blue on this side. I'm going to have to add some of that color over here. Just a nice gray tone. I am trying to get back in the swing of things. I haven't painted in about 10 days, so it's gonna be kind of wild. <laughs> so you can see like this area. I'm gonna lift up some of this paint, put that blue paint down. So we're gonna just paint that area. We're gonna let it dry. I'm gonna go and add a little like that. Okay. So just put that color down and we're going to let that dry and we'll come back and we're going to start adding the trees and the leaves. All right, so the first wash of color is down. Now we're going to do some trees. I've got that neutral tint. I'm going to add some of that ultramarine blue to it. And we're going to just paint some trees in a light gray tone. I'm going to do some ones way back here. I'm just taking off some of the color by tapping it on my paper towel. It should be just a light pale gray. See, just go like that. And you can put some branches out here. Just like that. Just a light gray tree. And then we'll have another one over here. You're just taking up. So basically you just Going up here, nice like solid kind of a thick line, then put little skinny lines out this way, all in the pale gray color. And we're gonna be building up 
the grays to get a little bit darker as we go forward. And I'm still using the Princeton 8. If this, if it's hard for you to make skinny little branches, it seems, this one seems skinnier than that one. Zoom in a little bit. Then go to a 4 brush. Okay. Cut that tree. Now we're going to get a little bit darker. So use a little more paint. I want to wait till that dries a little bit, but getting a little bit darker. Going to add a little more of the color. A little bit darker. See, adding more branches. Getting a little bit darker. Some branches crisscrossing over there. You can see where I'm going with this. Getting a little bit darker. This one didn't come down as much. See, getting a little bit darker. And then we're going to get a little bit darker again. So I'm adding some more of this color and the blue, ultramarine blue. I tap it on my paper towel to take off any excess. So this should get a little bit darker in tone. Again, the branches can crisscross out this way. Have some come this way. I'm kind of leaning my trees, as you can see. All right. You can go back in and uh, make some even really thinner, smaller, very light trees back here in the beginning, if you want to add those. And even smaller, tiny ones way down here. Just make sure they're really pale gray. And we're going to get darker and darker as we get closer this to the, to the right and to the left. Again, even darker. So we're going to more tint. Crisscross and put those leaves like that. Just go like this. And add the branches. See how it's getting darker and darker? You can put it pretty close, almost basically on top of it if you want to, on the other one. So same kind of trees you're kind of doing, maybe a little bit different, but just darker. Creates that mysterious. And then of course the last tree on each side, really dark, almost black. So using the, I'm using the ultramarine blue and the neutral tint, make it really dark. See, it's going to get really dark. And then you can just go to the branch and the branch hang down a little bit. Whoops, I made that a little too thick. Probably should have switched to my number four. But, okay, who cares? So you get that really deep, dark tree. The branch is coming out this way. I'm going to get my number four brush to make really skinny ones. But you guys get the idea. Just want to have that tree really dark. The branch is coming out like that. So I'll take my number four. It's a lot skinnier. With the color. I make really teeny branches coming off this one. Got a little too nutso. But you see the, the variation of um, the gray tones. Kind of break up the branches a little bit, make them really creepy looking. See that? Really skinny. This is just a fun thing to do. Very therapeutic. 
I have a long day of traveling yesterday, so this is kind of fun to do this. Like I said, I haven't painted in so long. <laughs> okay, so we do the grays. Now the orange comes into play. Go back to number eight brush. I've got that bright orange. I'm going to add a little more burnt ember to that. And then I'll take some of this yellow and I'll put some orange in that yellow. So we have the three oranges. And I'm just going to kind of... I put some water, wash of it down. I'm going to grab some water on my brush and just kind of push the color around a little bit. Just fill this whole thing in. Orange. Really loose. See, the whole ground. It's kind of orange. And then you can just kind of tap in. See any dark colors like this. Some yellows. Just bleed those colors in. Get this really loose. I would be more concentrated of the deeper orange kind of right by the trees. Let the rest bleed down. Let's see. And when this dries, we'll get we'll go in and we'll add like real shapes of leaves. So I've got the orange. This is still wet. So now we're gonna take the number eight brush. We're just gonna like push down on the brush, kind of like this. Push down on the side and like lift out so it looks like little leaves. Orange leaves are still on the branches. Just do a leaf shape. You can have some floating downward. If you wanna use a different brush, if it works better for you, go right ahead. It's giving the illusion that the tree's leaves are falling down. If you want to use the number four and really just get the real shape of the leaf. If you want to get real technical, this tiny, I don't know, it just seems really kind of crazy. Put some little ones up here. So it looks like they're falling, you know? Kind of a fun little exercise. I'm gonna grab some magenta, mix it with my orange. Some burnt umber. So you get this dark color. I'm just gonna take the number four and tap it. It's still very wet. In certain areas right in here. You can take the yellow orange All right, so we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna go back in and do layers of the leaves on the bottom. 